Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Aditya. I'm a first year PhD student advised by Stepner Mon. This project on learning feature representations for networks was done in collaboration with Eurel Eskovich at Stanford. So machine learning and networks are ubiquitous in many domains, including those involving sustainability. Uh, a key bottleneck in applying machine learning to networks is in transforming the raw graph into a representation that is easily interpretable by downstream prediction algorithms. So instead of hand engineering features or using uh, computationally expensive matrix factorization approaches, we propose to solve this problem by defining an objective based on the maximum likelihood principle. Specifically, given a graph uh, which is a set of vertices and edges, we want to learn a function f that maps the vertices to a low dimensional space of continuous real valued features. Uh, this objective that you see here uh, is syntactic sugar, but what it's exactly saying is that we want to learn feature representations which are more predictive of the neighborhood nodes. You can simplify this further, but the key challenge in defining this objective is this neighborhood uh, that is generated by a sampling strategy U. So unlike uh, language processing from where this objective has been used previously. We do not have access to direct samples uh, in the case of networks. So we need to generate networks. And the problem in generating uh, samples from these networks is that we need to define a notion of a network neighborhood. So uh, this uh, cartoon graph gives an illustration of uh, why it's ambiguous in defining a network neighborhood of a node. So given this node U, if I need to, if I have a sampling budget of let's say three nodes, uh, then there are multiple ways in which I can sample its neighbors. I could do it, in the most extreme case, I could go do a breadth first search where I just sample nodes that are at one hop away from the node U. Or I could take the other extreme in which I do a depth first search always traversing nodes that are one hop, uh, that are an, at an additional hop from node U. Uh, and it turns out that both these paradigms are important for networks. So in the case of the BFS strategy, you can characterize the communities well, the communities to which the node U belongs. Whereas in the case of DFS, you can explore farther off in the uh, network and discovering nodes such as S6, which is structurally equivalent uh, to the node U. So uh, in real world networks, we want to interpolate between these two paradigms and node 2 vec provides a robust linear time algorithm for interpolating between these different sample paradigms to generate feature representations that are very effective in practice. Uh, the paper code and the data sets used in the KDD paper uh, are on this URL and I'm happy to talk more at the poster session. Thank you.